Good evening once again. If you see my hands shaking, it's only because the goddess of all poetry is here, Dr. Jonas, and I'm very nervous. And if I had known she would have been here, I would have thought Russell I had some cleaning to do. I can't make it. <laughs> but God help us all. This piece is called um, Look at You, and it speaks to us. It speaks to us uh, shifting our focus and trying to be less selfish and more benevolent and helpful in this season where we just think about ourselves. Look at you. Deck the halls with bows of holly. Fa la 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 la, la 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 la. This the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la, la 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 la. Have no fear, for Christmas is finally here. The season where we are supposed to share and care for each other, but rather we think of ourselves and continue to stack our shelves until there is no space to spare, but we never spare a thought for those who can barely smile. Just like God's child, they have been in their manger for a while, treated like animals in their humble spots. Fitting the label of being the have-nots, not having a lot, no plans for any pepper pot, for their pots have been peppered with frustration, deprivation, and lack, as the odds continue to be stacked against them. But look at you. From the vantage point of having in abundance, you have the perfect view. But who can blame you for only thinking about you and only you? I mean, what else is new? For this is the season for me, 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 and more me. Plenty gifts under my Christmas tree. Plenty household items to compete with. Neighbor Patsy. Downtown shopping spree, man. We busy so much things to buy, man. We dizzy. Like a child in a candy store, man. We giddy, giddy, giddy. A few gift exchanges here and there, not to feel too guilty. But after that, it's back to me, 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 and more me. Look at you. Having ten pairs of shoes, but still looking for something new, so you could feel fresh when hanging with your crew, but it never occurred to you that you can take one of your ten and make someone's feet smile again, and make someone's toes feel like heaven. But then again, that is not your frame of mind. Ten less one equals nine. To you, sharing is like a crime. To give is not to live. Look at you. Jingle all the way. Joy, joy riding on Santa's sleigh from day, from day till night until night turns to day. This is the life. This has got to be the way to live. But a close examination of the reason for this season will give a revelation as to why he gave his only begotten son. Not only that we may have life and have it more abundantly, but it's for us to see a sample of an example of what it means to give. It's the way to live. The more we give, the more the spirit of Christmas hit us and lift us as we continue to minus greed and selfishness. Look at you. I mean, really look at yourself. It's time to have an introspection and a close reflection of your selfish actions and lavish consumption during this season. It's time to temper the commercializing thirst and put others first. Stop for a while and invest in creating a smile on someone's face. Look at you. No, really, look at yourself. Thank you.